Tiff just got here to rescue me from the hurricane. Here's Briar. There she is. Hey, Briar. Ah, good girl. We just, well, we got here to the property a few hours ago and we went straight to work on the water line. <laughs> it's not done, but we dug up the last part that we needed to do, like, do work on and we need to cut into it and put it together. But we're going to do that after Ben um, mows a path. So he's on the tractor now. He's not going to cut the whole entire property, but he's just mowing us some paths so we can actually get around because the grass is once again super high. It needs bailed. Um, what is it? I was about to, well, I started my truck um, and I was riding around and I unloaded some stuff, some camping stuff that we had in there so I could haul briar around in the truck as I'm riding down to the garden. We're up here by the HQ. Um, some other cool things that happened. We got internet line ran underground up to this pole. We don't have electricity yet. Um, so they haven't hooked up our service, but it's very close. We're getting an electrician out here. Well, the power company and the electrician are coming out tomorrow and the next day. I actually have to go back home for a dentist appointment. Yay. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to come back here. I think I'm going to leave all the camera stuff with Ben though. So maybe he'll vlog something. I don't know. Um, so that's a little bit exciting. And obviously the water line, fingers crossed, it all works perfectly. We'll find out later today for sure. Um, I... We brought a bunch of plants. I have to go out to the garden. I'm gonna show you all the flowers that are blooming. It's wondrous. And what else? There's, we gotta harvest some peanuts and sweet potatoes and then we brought a bunch of plants to plant out. It's like winter crops, so we have to do that. But I don't think that's all gonna get done today. That's gonna be more like, I guess tomorrow on Friday. We're also getting the hurricane weather. Um, hurricane Ian is coming through on, starting on Friday. It's gonna start raining. Um, we're getting winds and everything on Thursday, but I'm going to come back on Friday, get Ben, and we're going to probably just go home. I don't think we're going to spend too much time out here. But that's what I think the plan is as of right now. <laughs> so Ben's on the tractor. I'm going to go do some Dahlia, like pictures, labeling, harvesting. I'm shooting a video for the Wild Pines Farm YouTube page. I'm just doing like a labeling Dahlias video and... I mean, I got a bunch of blooming now that I hadn't had blooming before, so it'll be really good for labeling. My battery is about to die on the camera. I do need to get <laughs> this one on the charger, and then I need to get a new one in the camera. Uh, but I think we're going to head out to the garden now. Me and Briar are going to get our stuff in the car. Um, the truck's empty, so I should be able to load up some plants. And we might drop off some of the stuff at the dome, and then we'll head over to the garden. Here's the water line progress. This is where we need to cut into the main line. This is the main line right here. We have our parts. Um, I ended up, we, it was pretty much all covered. This whole section right here was covered. We dug it out and then I dug the rest of it out with a little shovel and then we pulled out the hydrant. So we're really close. I can't wait to actually get that done. I'm, I've been super nervous about it. I hope it all works out. Bro, what are you doing? You relaxing? You want to go see some flowers? Let's go to the garden. All right, you guys, I'm out here at the garden. Oh my gosh, look at all the flowers. This is crazy. I came out here, I, it just surprise, it surprises me every time because it even hasn't even been a week. Not a full week because we came back on Sunday. Was it Sunday? I'm losing track of all of my days. Let's say it was Sunday. Or we came back on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's, is it Wednesday or Thursday? It's been like four days. I don't even know what day it is anymore. It's either Wednesday or Thursday. No, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. So it's only been like four days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Since I cut all of these. And I know you can't see everything, but you can see just how plentiful. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Michaela Mirandas to harvest. There's really, really only one of the Bella Barmera ready, but by the end, like when we leave on Friday, these ones will definitely be ready to harvest as well. It's insane. And like, ah, oh, there's Diva right here. The cupcake one has gone crazy. 
I'm pretty excited. <laughs> so I am going to be finishing up my Wild Pines Farm tagging video and I am going to be hopefully cutting these by the end of today. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut them all. It depends on if I get the tagging done or not. I already took out a few seedlings that I didn't, didn't like. I love all of them, but there were some that were open centered. A lot of them ended up being open centered with seedlings. You really, you really aren't going to get something like this with it every single time it's going to be kind of like you find one gem every 100 seeds or something like that. i don't know but we had a lot of open centered ones and a lot of them were beautiful and a lot of them i'm going to keep for next year just because just for fun um but there were some that just i had a ton of open centered purpley pink ones and a ton of open centered yellow ones and they were kind of more like single petals is that what I want to call it I'm trying to think of a word uh, the word the term um, but it was just like it wasn't it wasn't multiple petals I mean it was multiple petals what is it I'm thinking I think I'm just thinking of single dahlias so if you know what single dahlias are they don't have like the fluff they don't have the fluffy petals <laughs> um, I don't even have one to show you but anyway I cut a bunch of those down because they were blooming so it helped me ID those and I just have a few that I need to mark that I'm saving and I think I'll be good to go. I don't think I'll be spending too much time out here tagging, fingers crossed, but I want to take you around the garden just a little bit to show you what's going on. So here's Cupcake. Cupcake's looking fantastic. That's going crazy. It was going crazy last week. I ended up cutting all of these. There was some mostly bees and then mostly bees. And then we have some Bella Barmeras. And we have a few different ones over here, including some seedlings. Lots of fun stuff, and I need to take you on a tour of the rest of the garden. Hopefully I'll get to that. I've been hard at work on my dahlia labeling, which is done. Hooray! I still haven't done the questionable ones back here. There's only like six of them, but I'm just going to mark them with a question mark. Everything else is labeled. It's like this winter, I'd like to get all this covered. Yeah, for sure. You know? We need to get that covered before. Covered or just get covered and composted. Yeah. Well, I think basically I'm gonna get as much of that hay out over the next two days as I can, and I'll add like a big thick bottom layer mm. so we can kind of stack the compost okay. on top of it. That sounds good. See, look at all these melons. Did you see them? Yeah, I saw some of them. There's here. so I saw many. Two right there. There's so many. I think what those, are they? they're either the like midget melons or the Jubilee bush watermelons. I can't tell what vine they're on. Uh, I think they're on this. Then if that's a, that's a watermelon vine then. So that would be, I'll probably be the Jubilee bush. And then there's another little watermelon there. Sleepy bar bear. What happened? I think we might have finished the water line <laughs> after six years. <laughs> Four months. Oh, like that. Careful, there's a trench. Yeah, we finally got the last few pieces. These pieces are connected to the main. This is our main water source right here, and this was our only spigot at the time. And now we got our tea coming off of here. Connecting to our crazy high pressure pipe that apparently nobody except very few people know how to <laughs> how to do, not even people online. <laughs> so we're gonna see if it works. Um, we might wait until tomorrow though, just yeah. just because. I need to still get a screwdriver and tighten really tighten up. down those and any other pieces and and we'll give it a shot and see what happens. Yep. Fingers crossed. So it's not on. Yep. But it's all connected, so hopefully it all works. Yep. And yeah, we had to dig out all of this today. Mm -hmm. We had dug this out and that out before, but we had to dig all of that, which probably took like two hours. It was like an hour or hour and a half. Yeah. Luckily it's, it's, it's so dry. Yeah, and it's cooling off, so it's not too bad digging. But yeah, that might be it. I say that though, and then something horrible is going to happen. That's why I'm still so nervous. Yeah. 
We shall see. Well, I'm heading out for the day. I'm gonna leave y'all with Ben. And whether or not he takes up with a vlog tomorrow, completely up to him. Hopefully he'll film the waterline reveal, maybe. But um, I'm done for the day. We're gonna wrap it up and I will be back in two days. So I'll see you guys then. What's up everybody? Didn't check in yesterday, but got a little bit done out in the garden. Uh, but today we're gonna see if the water line works. Um, we're in the middle of Hurricane Ian hitting <laughs> this part of South Carolina. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see if our water line is holding up or if we got any leaks. All right, so there is where we tapped into the main water line. This spigot was already here. So we got water coming in. So first valve seems to be working. Let's turn on the rest. Let's see what happens. Looks like it's working. No leaks wow. right there. Holy crap. <laughs> we got water going through there. Just turn that on. So let's see if any of the other joints right, leak. Alright, so here's our other T. We've got two of those compression uh, connectors here. And then a T, a brass T. I don't see any leaks here. So let's check the spigot at the end of this line. See if this works. We got water. <laughs> yes. All right. So this part of the water line goes through the woods. I had to connect two of the high pressure pipes here with the compression. And our valve for the dome is down here. See how that did. Got these off. Both of these valves are off. Check the pressure there. Looks like it's fine. So yeah. Packing up the tractor. Pops let me use the tractor, get some cutting done out here. So we're gonna try to get it back before the storm hits too bad. Try to the trailer. Tiff just got here to rescue me from the hurricane. 